Welcome. Working out, which is a session of vigorous physical exercises and tr or training, has been going on since 600 BC to increase strength, speed, and endurance. It has proven to be helpful in many ways, ranging from mental health all the way to increasing a person's lifespan. It has improved a lot over the time with the introduction to new and more beneficial workouts and supplements to help with your physical performance. But what are truly the best workouts for building muscle? Today, we'll look at a man by the name of Caleb Jackson, who wanted to push himself to his absolute limit. You have to achieve failure. You have to take it that far. Nobody wants to go that far. It's too scary. But you know something? I got news for you. That's where winning is. What I learned in the gym is you gotta go out there and fail. You gotta go out there and fall down. Come on! That's really what bodybuilding is all about. What results? It's gonna take hard work for years. Same thing in life, it's the same thing here. If you can do this, you can do anything. Achieve failure. I speak from experience. It can be really difficult to know what your girlfriend wants for Christmas, so here. The loneliness came back worse than I remember. I don't get it. I know I'm doing the right thing. You have to see that. But what is this? Why do I feel this empty word inside? You're probably thinking, this is it, the end of Caleb Jackson's legacy, but you would be wrong. He decided to be hungry for knowledge in the gym, to get bigger, to get better, day by day. And he's going to start off with Caden Joyner and Pierce something. What's your favorite chest workout? You can go first, you can. Favorite chest workout? <laughs> Incline Smith, chest press. I'm going to have to agree. I guess the tissues go down. <laughs> What's your favorite back workout? Your turn. My favorite back workout is probably lat pull down. I'll have to agree with that one. Oh. And what's your favorite shoulder workout? I'm gonna have to go with dumbbell shoulder press. I'm gonna go with uh, cables. Wait, cable lat raises. Ooh, good. Yeah. What's your favorite leg workout? Uh, skip. I have to agree. <laughs> yup. <laughs> What's your favorite bicep and tricep workout? Favorite bicep? I'm gonna have to go with preacher curl. Tricep, skull crushers. Favorite bicep? Hammer curl, tricep, skull crushers. Okay, thank you. Kevin Reyes. <laughs> How'd you get so strong and big? <laughs> okay. Um, so you gotta like work hard. Yep. You know, any workout is good if you do it efficiently. What are some of the, you know, some of your favorites? Some of my favorites, I like squats, clean and jerks. Um, yeah, those, those are probably my two favorite ones. Tell us about, you know, your high school weightlifting experience. What about it? You good at it? You pretty good? I'm all right. All right, thank you. <laughs> okay.
Oh shit, I almost fell. Stop talking. What keeps you motivated to keep working out in the gym? Honestly, it's probably the biddies in Mr. Poole's third period class. That's what really keeps me motivated to go harder every day. Now that Caleb has gotten information from his friends, he's going to look towards a professional Davis Daly to give him some tips and tricks on each muscle part. These are two of the fastest methods you can use to stimulate all three heads of your tricep to grow. First, arm at your side or slightly behind. Get a D-handle, turn it on its side, insert and press the heel of your hand into the fabric. For this first exercise of two, we train the triceps in their shortened position. Single armed allows your central nervous system to use your triceps more completely. We're using this position to train the long head. So once it's exhausted and you reach failure, turn around and drop to one knee. Rest the elbow and extend. Now you're holding the arm in front of your body. This removes some demand from the exhausted long head. Head, favoring the lateral and medial heads and allows you to keep going. EMG data supports that these two heads of the triceps are biased over the long. This is the best squat tutorial that's ever been made. Step one, the perfect stance. Squat and test. Find your best position that allows for the greatest range of motion. The shape of your pelvis and hip capsule is unique to you. Your femur should freely move up and you should feel totally balanced. But if you don't, try elevating your heels on plates for better Olympic shoes. Now pull yourself under the bar with a close stance, placing the bar on top of your traps. Keep the grip close. Hands as close to the shoulders as you can manage. Pinch your back together and pull the bar down into your traps to tension the back. Slide the knees forward, placing the hips under the bar. Stand. Steady. Then step deliberately. One, two. Tuck and level your hips. Lightly screw the feet into the ground to help stabilize the hips. Breathe deep into your belly and brace like expecting a punch. Slide the hips back very slightly. Sink straight down between your legs. Depth may vary, but strive to lower to at least parallel. Keep the bar over the middle of your feet with equal balance from heel to toe. And knees over toes in the same direction. Drive up, thinking, keep knees forward and hips underneath. Here's one of my all-time favorite and most effective bicep workouts. I've been doing it for years and I want you to have it. Let's go. First, cambered bar preacher curls for four sets of 12 to 15 reps. Push these as hard and as heavy as you possibly can, imagining that you're curling the weight up to the ceiling with your pinky and ring fingers. Next, crush grip dumbbell curls for three sets of 15 reps. These will get your biceps and forearms wider when looking from a front view. Keep your elbows in and constantly crush the dumbbell inwards with your grip as you curl up to the top. Then, single arm dumbbell hammer curls with a staggered stance and the plane of your shoulders open up to the side, really controlling the negatives down and focusing on keeping the crease of your elbow facing the ceiling. Then, an isometric hold for absolute max time using the same dumbbell that you used for the crush grip curls. Keep your arm held at a 90 degree angle and your wrist held strong. Block out the pain and fight it for as long as you can. Place dumbbells. These allow for a natural arm path converging inwards as the weight is pressed, but the stability is less than ideal and they require more skill. Therefore, there's potentially more form breakdown and less muscle recruitment. Third place, Smith Machine. It's incredibly stable and doesn't require you to balance the weight. Therefore, you can recruit and exhaust more muscle fibers. The main drawback is that as you near the top, the load on the pecs diminishes. Second place, cables. Versatility, stability, and a natural arm path. That's why these are great. You can emphasize the tension at any portion of the movement you would like based on your setup. Where dumbbells in the Smith machine fail to offer resistance, these can succeed. Number one, a converging chest press machine. Unlike the others, this loads the pecs with tension through the entire range of motion. Balance and skill are not required, so it allows you to focus on just one thing, your effort, maximally recruiting your pecs. 